Okay, there's our first rear rotisserie bracket. Bolts up to the original leaf spring shackle mounting position using stock, well, urethane style, but stock bushings. And we took the original adapter bracket from Redline Stands and we just heated it up and bent it out and then back in and it frickin' fits. One down, one to go. Okay, we managed to get both rear shackles mounted. Bent those brackets out, made them wider, and they are bolted up to the leaf spring uh, purchase at the frame rail. We just got the back half of the rotisserie slid into place and kind of hand tightened right now. And then we're gonna go work on the front end. Whoo, well, we got it mounted to the rotisserie. Look at that. It worked. We jacked it up and we took out the gigantic pallet. And now we gotta figure out how to cut that thing up and haul it out of here. But yeah, our little brackets worked out just great. So far, there they are. Hey kids, check it out. There's a Nova sideways up on one wheel in my garage. Holy crap, we did it, me and Al. We got this thing mounted on the rotisserie and it is it is floating, man. It is floating in midair. We got our brackets that we heated up and bent, and they worked out perfectly. Look at that. Did you just look at that? And the car, with a few adjustments, is up 90 degrees on its side in my garage. How great is that? Maybe I'll just keep it this way. Maybe I'll just drive it around like this. But, uh, well, what's great about this, it now allows me to get underneath the car and weld my suspension brackets in, which, man, if, if only I could get my TCI suspension here someday, I will get this thing on its four wheels in no time. Speaking of wheels, we did a quick little test fit, and look at that, it fits. The tire fits right in there. I mean, it might be a little crooked, but I mean, it fits. Right there will be the Rick's Tanks fuel cell, stainless steel fuel cell with the dual 450 uh, in-tank pumps so we can run regular gas and we can turn up the boost and run E85. There's our wheel well, our Detroit Speed mini tubs. And I gotta say, after seeing the whole car now in daylight, I think the guys at Real Deal Steel did a fantastic job with the car. Certainly nothing that can't be massaged and you know a factory car is going to have gaps it's going to have issues i mean my old novas they all had shims in almost every location from the factory so i know that we're going to make this we're going to make this good and i'm pretty happy with it overall guys there's the uh, larger transmission tunnel for the 4l80e i'm going to smooth out this firewall because i'm doing a vintage air unit so i won't need the blower motor hole and I won't need these heater hoses and about 50 other holes in this firewall. We're gonna fill in, smooth out. There it is, guys. I think we've accomplished something for the day and I think this is a good time to call it a break. Oh, I want to address a question that I saw on one of the uh, Facebook forums, one of the Nova forums. Um, a couple people asked about registering a car like this. Here's what I know. After much internet research, I found that there is actually very little information out there. And so the best thing that I think I can suggest is that if you're really concerned about it, go down to your local DMV. I went to mine and I went to actually a couple of them. The, uh, the first one I went to, they knew nothing. <laughs> And then I went to the central one here on uh, East Flamingo in Las Vegas, and the guy there was a car guy himself, a classic car guy. Basically, he says, you take your, your bill of sale, or in your case, your invoice, your, your receipt for the car, along with all your other receipts. You go down there and you fill out a couple of forms, and this is registered as a replica car. It is not a 1967 Chevrolet Nova, of course, we all know that. It's a new body put together by Real Deal Steel here in the U.S. of A. 
and it will be registered as a replica of a 67 Nova. So my understanding is that it gets a brand new VIN, 2021 or 22, whatever I get this thing done. And you fill out the paperwork and I believe you have to pass a visual inspection. You gotta show your, your receipts, show what's been done to it, and they need to look it over and make sure that it passes obviously the safety equipment. Uh, tires and bl blinkers and bumpers and all that stuff and window glass and then you get yourself a brand new VIN and a title and that's it it's registered as a 2021 67 Nova is the model <laughs> so that's my understanding of it I was told don't worry it's gonna be a piece of cake when you get it all done come down here and we'll get it handled that's what I was told um, I'm being very diligent about saving all my receipts and I'm gonna keep a very strict record of everything that I do to the car. And I'm also documenting the entire build on video. So you know what? I'm gonna go through all of the pain and heartache and the little victories like today, and we're gonna get this thing built. That concludes episode four of Brody's Garage.